Hey, what's up guys? So it is currently the next morning and it is 9 30 right now and the priest is supposed to come here at 10 a.m So he should be here pretty soon But I was thinking about this and like it feels really weird if I was to like have a camera up here Talking to you guys as the priest is here Like I feel like he would find that suspicious and odd because maybe he doesn't know that like I record my daily life So what I'm gonna try and do is like prop up a camera somewhere Maybe have my Mac computer record from photo booth as well I just don't want it to seem sketchy when he comes here and I'll most likely end up blaring his face too just because of privacy reasons Yeah, yeah Hey guys. The world. That's, that's crazy. Um, what happened here? Hello. Hi. This is my girlfriend Lizzie. Lizzie. This is my friend Chris. How are you? How are you? Father Orlando. Hey, Chris. How are you doing? Hey. So there is something going on in this room? Yeah. In this yes. apartment? Just everything in general. Because you are messing with something that you should not. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're fully aware. <laughs> so hopefully this helps the situation out. Yeah. Because nice. we're all like really stressing out about it. Yeah. You were saying you're, you're playing with uh, with that before, and it didn't really significantly move. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, like nothing in the apartment moved. Not the Ouija board. The Ouija board moved every single time. Every time. Every moved. single time. We would play it in here, like on the floor right here. It would move every single time. We would get answers, responses, and everything. Like, apparently, I don't know how true this is, but we contacted her grandmother before multiple times, and it would tell us things that. Like, she didn't even know about her grandma, and then she called her dad afterwards, and like the answers and stuff that she was saying were actually true. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know how believable that is, but the fact that like we played it here multiple, multiple times, nothing ever bad happens. And then we went to the cemetery the one night, and once again, like everything since that point has been What weird. did you do at the cemetery? Did you implore the dead or, you know, rather yeah, I mean, like, or dead? Or? Like, we just. Do it normally how we start a Ouija board. We would sit on, sit on the floor and we'd uh, circle it, and then I would say, like, is there any spirits I would like to contact us? And you did, yeah. Yeah, and then right away we got a demon called Zozo, and then. How did you know? He, he, he identified himself? He said it, yeah. yeah and we like, asked who it was. Yeah, we asked who it was and he said says. who it was, and then, like, we've done research on the Ouija board and stuff before, and it says if you get him, it's, like, really bad. And then he, um,. He kept moving it over to like, what did it say at first? It said, um, it said die. And I said, how do you expect that to happen? It said kill yourself. It spelled this out all the way. And then after that, it said, um, I was like, how do you expect that to happen? And it said car crash. And then she started crying. And then that's when we left. We heard like a loud bang around the gate where we were. And at first, I didn't think it was anything. So I kept talking. And then um, we heard the bang again, and then we just booked it and ran back to my car and left. What cemetery? Um, it was it was like eight miles from here. Let me let me Is see that if I can see. Hollywood cemetery? No, no we for, played right outside. Like, we, we were yeah, actually in the cemetery. Because we couldn't get in. We were right was it, outside the gate. Was it Evergreen Cemetery, Lizzie? That might have been it. Hold up. So yeah. Evergreen Cemetery, 204 North Evergreen Ave. It's just around here, right? Mm, no, it's a 29 minute drive. It's nine miles from here. Yeah, I mean, that's nine miles. It's yeah, yeah, close. around this area. Uh, and so after that, you came back here. And did you get rid of the board? Yeah, we, we left it there. We threw it out in the trash there. There, in the yeah. cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Have you known something about the Ouija board before you played? Yeah. With it? Like before, when we played with the Ouija board, um, we would like either gift it to somebody or like tear it up and throw it away. But you didn't that's know like anything like um, that it could be like a portal. Yeah, I've heard about that, that, but like I played with it so many times that I didn't think anything was ever gonna happen. So that was my mistake because I didn't actually think something was gonna happen. Because we did play with it, I, I would say like at least a hundred times. Like, it, like it's not something, within the past year I played with it like multiple, multiple times. Yeah, so. <laughs> And uh, because the Ouija board is it's been there before, but now a research and uh, and actual happenings really point to something real, something existential, mm -hmm. and it can become a portal for the devil to end this. So, so like when when I first played the Ouija board, I thought all that was fake. Like I didn't think the Ouija board piece was actually going to move thought it was fake when I first played it I was absolutely terrified like I was frightened because it did 
Yeah. Without anything to anything. It really did. Yeah, like it really works. And then here, so where were that, those weird happenings? So my cabinet flew open here and a bunch of stuff fell out. Those things there? Yeah, like, just, like a bunch of this stuff on the bottom cabinet went flying out. And then I was recording something and my girlfriend was recording. And then this tissue box actually, like I didn't even notice at first, but like a bunch of people pointed it out. This came off here and fell. While you were here? Yeah, you while we were here. Some people. Yeah. And then there was an instance last night where the power went out in our room and no one else like in this apartment had their power go out. So like my friend Chris had his light on, his power didn't go out. There was lights on out here, they didn't go out. Our it was just was our room. The, and our friend was in the shower and the power didn't go out in there. Yeah, which is really weird. So it happened one time, we got freaked out about it, asked him if like he was messing with the electricity or something. He said no. And then we were in the room and then it happened again. And that's after you played. Yeah, this is, yes, this, this is last, last night. night. When I, we were trying to go to sleep at like 2.30 a.m. So what we're going to do is this. This is not really a um, uh, possession of, you know, like the devil possessing the person. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's the house. It became like a portal for that devil to enter yeah. into specifically in your will. So what I'm going to suggest to you is this. You don't have any sign of symbol of what's holy, like a cross, right? I mean, he has one on his wrist. It is even better for you. But, <laughs> yeah, but the, the house itself. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think so. Like for example, you have I have, I have, um, it's not a, it's beads that usually go across my Right bed. there, that's yeah. a rosary. Yeah. But it's broken. So I would suggest that you put that somewhere, like an altar, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just in that corner, maybe a cross there, or a, some a symbol of what is what we believe is the presence of God. Real presence of the devil will be um, will be uh, kind of uh, neutralized when they s experience and see the symbol of this what is holy. We believe that breath, God is present there, and so I would do, I would suggest to for you to have that uh, okay. symbol of the holy for sure. Perhaps a cross or another. Okay. Now, in the event that after our prayer here would amount to nothing, right? Doesn't mean that um, um, it's not effective, but it might mean even more what we call a um, more serious prayer. Like, um, to tell you the truth, this is what we, we believe in the Catholic Church. To be an exorcist, you watch those movies, right? Yeah. Exorcist. Mm -hmm. It's not a simple thing. Not all priests can do exorcism mm -hmm. because you are kind of you are against a very powerful enemy. And the one thing for sure is that the devil exists, and the scriptures, the whole Bible tells us that 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 it's real. Now we can't even address the devil by his name when we do the prayer because. If you are not ready as a priest, if you are not prepared to do exorcism, if presupposing that the devil is real there, mm -hmm. they, taking possession of the person or the house, then for us, I mean, for the priest that is doing that prayer, if he is not ready, he can be overwhelmed. And that's why in those movies, right? The pri there are some priests that would be possessed themselves, right? Yeah. yeah. Because that's that's real. Because priests are human beings as well, mm -hmm. and they have also their faults. And then if they are not prepared to combat the devil, they can be overwhelmed. That's why in all the arts, they they also says in the in the United States, all world, the real exorcist is unidentified the priest. The, it's only the bishop that would know who that is. And so if we have as our role as ordinary priests in the parishes and churches is to evaluate the possession. You know, given the fact that these are the manifestations and everything, and then we compare notes and say, oh, that's a real possession. That's when we call the Archbishop and ask for the real sources. Gotcha. Because that's really... Well, something. hopefully it doesn't have to get to that point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's something that I don't want to happen. Okay, so let's put ourselves in the presence of God. 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May peace be with this house and with all who live here. Now let us read from the Gospel of Mark. What we're going to do is to ask Jesus as well to liberate, to free this space, living space, out of the devil's possession. Because if what we do here is just like, well, we've heard about it, maybe a priest can help us out. But if you yourselves are not convinced that that would happen, then there is no trust in there. There's no, there's lack of faith. Mm -hmm. And so, if that is the case, then the prayer that we will be doing here will amount to nothing. You are the ones that will bear testimony to that, to the presence of the Holy Year. We ask this, we make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Then we're going to go sprinkle this whole carpet with the holy water. May the mighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, and Spirit. All right, guys, so we just had the priest come by. As you guys saw, he was here for about 40 minutes. Um, I'm not obviously gonna use all the footage. I'm gonna chop it up for you guys. But hopefully this does help our situation because even late last night, like stuff was still happening with the lights. It, I don't know, it's just been weird overall. So hopefully that holy water and everything else that was done in this apartment, all the prayers and everything said, do help out this situation. So you guys know that Lizzie ran into the wall the other day on that little scooter. Well, this is what it's currently looking like. It's all black and blue, all scraped up. It'll get worse. And we got Aiden here now. Hey, what up, I bro? I finally came back because you like we got the priest. A, formed a little ritual in here. Yeah, so hopefully finally that helps safe. us out. Yeah, hopefully no, no more sh getting dragged all around. It probably will happen though. Nah, dude, he came in here. What dude, did he do? I don't what know. What did he do exactly? I don't, he just came in here, he said a bunch of prayers, um, splashed holy water everywhere. That's crazy, dude. I know. Literally, this kid called me, what was it, like 4 a.m., just mm -hmm. freaking out. Like, I couldn't even understand what he was saying. He's like, I just uh, was in bed. Uh, I got I dragged, out. dragged out. Like, could barely understand. He was hyperventilating. Like, so. Yeah. I just hope everything's over with, finally. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Theo is becoming like Geo now. He loves belly rubs. Watch as I get closer to him. Here he starts moving. But he's getting ready for it. He's getting ready for it. Oh, he turned over. He's going to get a belly rub. Yeah, you like that, boy. Wow, I never thought he would actually like this because every time we try and like rub his belly, he just like tries to bite you. Yo, Lizzie does the same thing, bro. Does she? Yeah, try it. Yeah, all right, let's try it with Lizzie. Ain't that right, Lizzie? Yeah, you like that? You like that? Oh, he's getting jealous. <laughs> what am I watching? Is this real? Yeah. Is this real? Dude, it's a freaking chicken playing the piano. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lizzie's currently trying to cuddle with Theo. You like just both woke up. Lizzie passed out for a little bit. I was trying to, but then I figured I'd try and get some work done while I had some free time. To be honest, nothing weird has happened today. Ever since that priest, yeah. I don't know if it's just like, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. No, I was on and off sleeping last night, so I barely got any sleep because I was just scared, so I needed to pass out for 20 minutes. Yeah, so I mean, as of right now, these past couple of hours, things have seemed to have gone good. I think we might be hitting Sky Zone tonight, so jump around on some trampolines. Hopefully I don't mess my leg up again like I did oh the last time. Gosh. And my entire foot turned blue, that was crazy. But uh, I think I'm about to hit the gym right now as well, try and get a quick little workout in. You gonna come, girl? Yeah, what are you working? I have no idea yet. Theo, you gonna come? He's over there licking his bird. He's like, what? No, He's like, what? 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 
He's so cute. I Yo, it's the cutest thing when he wakes up. It's just so adorable. Yeah. That tired face that he has. All right, Lizzie, explain to me what just happened. I'm freaked out right now. Okay, so Theo's ball was right here, and I put it right here, but I stopped it with my foot because he was eating. I didn't want him to get distracted because if I kicked it at his gate, and it, it went all, it like started again, and it went all the way over there. Yeah, so Lizzie stopped it, and yeah, then the I ball just it. started to roll on its own and came all the way right here and was going back and forth mm -hmm. on its own. I swear. Like, God, I, guys, I swear to God, like, I did not do that. I want to see if it'll... How... How is this happening? Because, look, if I... Okay, so say I even did kick it. It wouldn't have turned and went that way. And it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't yeah, make like, sense. it came all the way over here and, just, and was I, going, like, up and down. I, yeah, it was right here, and I was like this, and I rolled it, and then I stopped it like that. All right. So, I don't know what to make of that. Maybe it was just a coincidence, or maybe there is still some paranormal stuff going on here. I'm gonna try my best to ignore that. See, it's much easier for me to, like, show you guys stuff. Like, if we did perhaps catch something on camera than just me explaining it to you. Because, obviously, if me just explaining something to you guys, like, anybody could have just made something up, which I totally understand. So, if you guys don't believe me when I actually say something, totally understandable. But when I actually catch something on camera, like, for example, the couch moving the other day, how do I make that up? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. There's this past couple of days, all this weird stuff going on. I mean, we had a priest this morning. I don't know. I don't know. Theo, keep your ball over there. <laughs> what I don't like about this whole situation is me and Lizzie are just paranoid about every little thing that happens. It could be something normal and we'll probably get, like, frightened about it. Like, if I just hear a loud bang out of nowhere, it'll frighten me and make me think of something that's correlated with this whole thing going on right now. So, I don't know. That ball situation, maybe it was just rolling. Like, maybe it was just, like, normally rolling how it would. But, I don't know. It was weird. It was really weird. I stopped it. I know you stopped it and then it continued rolling on its own. I don't know. I don't know. Let's Look, go to the, the gym. Let's go to the gym. Let's get out of here. I was wondering where the little spring is that goes right there. And then I look over. It's in Theo's bed. Theo just picks up random things and hides them in his bed. Like, he has people's socks in his bed. He brings these socks over there. He's a sock thief, just like Gio is. He just takes everything. And you know what's weird? I, I, I first thought, I was like, okay, maybe... Maybe it's a gust of wind. Maybe our air conditioning is on and it blew and it was blowing it. But I was freezing and I told you to turn that off. Yeah, the air conditioning was off because Lizzie told me to turn it off specifically because she was, it's like, it gets freezing in our bedroom and in any of the rooms, but it doesn't get cold like in the actual living room area, which is weird. So that's why it's always blasting. That way, like, hopefully it does get out in the living room. So yeah. our rooms are freezing, even Chris's room. Because Lizzie was trying to sleep in there, so I turned it off. And then I went to go check like right after and it was off too. So I don't know, it's just really weird. And there was no other gust of wind that could have made it move. Someone's hyping ready for the gym. Always dancing. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're getting it, Lizzie. I feel like Let's we gag go, each other up like 10 okay. times a day. I know, we do. It's okay though. It's a good day. Still coming out. What are you doing? Driving? I told you guys yesterday that I absolutely destroyed shoulders when I came here and to be honest I feel it today like I was trying to do chest today and I could barely do it I still pushed through and I got a good workout in It's funny is you still did better than you thought you were gonna do today. I know I didn't feel like I was gonna do that good But I was pushing really hard. We're gonna go get some gains bowls right now. I haven't had one in a while I just call them to order them and they say they don't take phone orders anymore What? <laughs> All right, we'll just go there. It's right around the corner. Door locked How? A yawn they are locked uh, you never had that happen? No. Uh, oh, it hurts so bad. Ah, you never had that happen? I don't think so. Oh my god, that's the, it's like one of the worst feelings. When your jaw locks up, it's just like everything gets like really tight. Did you do this purposely? Yeah. He put on a song and it says, my jaw keep locking. My jaw keep locking. It's so quick to put on a song that has something to do with a subject that we just talked about. Like, I can talk about, oh, we just went to the bathroom and I'll put on a song. It's like, took a in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. It's so accurate. Whoa, they changed this place up. It looks good, doesn't I it? I had no idea. That is really interesting. Charcoal lemonade. Vegan Alfredo, but look at the noodles. They're like clear, like see-through. Hey, that is what I'm talking about. Oh. oh, watch it, it's gonna fall. <laughs> Why? Some guy just looked at my camera and he pointed at it. He's like, what is that for? I was like, I'm shooting porn, man. He's like, damn, can I join? I got it under here. I was like, ah. <laughs> The guy's just knocked out on his car. Hey, you don't see that that often out here. Cops riding horses. I want a horse. <laughs> what? You want everything you see. You'll see like a, a little rabbit and you'll be like, oh, I want the rabbit. Okay, no. Yeah. No, they yep. poop all over the place. Yeah, so does Theo. 
Okay, well, Theo's actually been really good lately. He has been. Theo, Give some credit. Theo has been amazing yes. these past, like, six days, I'd say. Yeah. Hasn't been bad once. Like, he's pooping in the right area where he's supposed to. He's not, like, eating his poop anymore. He's been Knock doing really wood. good. Let's go up there. There's crap all over the place. Nah, he'll be fine. Oh. Oh, Chris, are you serious right now? Chris thinks that the demon or entity or whatever is in our apartment took the car keys. Where are they at? I'm going to tell you something right now. I was out earlier, so I spent some time out. And I was like, you know what? They're probably waiting to use the car. Let me come home and drop the keys off before I go out. Put them right there. I haven't seen them all day. And they're not there. Yeah. When we haven't we came seen them. Home from the gym, they weren't there. I'm Are you sure this. you didn't just like put it? Is it in this drawer? We usually keep keys right. in this drawer. Right, I looked at it three times. Like I'm telling you, bro, there's something odd going on because I put them right here. It's just like we we <laughs> we just blame everything on the no, demon that, now. Yeah, that, that proves your point earlier that anything that happens, we blame it on. Yeah, them. because we're just paranoid at this point. No, but I'm being serious. I know. Well, the keys. well, you wanna know what's funny? You guys probably remember this, but I lost my fob before, and we legit made a Ouija board and asked the Ouija board where my fob was. And after about like 20 minutes of playing the thing, we finally found the and fob. The arrow pointed this way. Yeah. It was pointing this way. And the was, fob was literally down was there. Right here under this. So, thing. so, so it was pointing direction. this direction. Yeah, and it was down there. Think fast. Fuck. <laughs> With a fidget spinner in one hand. <laughs> Was that your your brass knuckles? Oh, did you hear that sound? <laughs> oh, he's defending it. He's blocking it. He's blocking it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> no, for real, find these keys. <laughs> I'm looking. Uh, hold up, hold up. What happened? So, I put the keys over there like I explained. Apparently, they were over here. But I we looked, just looked here. I looked here five million times. Apparently it was here. We, okay, listen, okay, listen, hands listen. down, hands down, we just looked there. Yeah. I'm leaving, bro. Like, that's, just, that's the that, final straw. I needed straw. these too late, That's the so. final straw. I don't know if that's a sign or not. I don't know what it is, but I put them over there. And I Yeah, we just, we, God, uh, guys, I swear, we all just looked for like the past I 30 minutes. I swear, I put them right on that table. And even, I thought I still had the car, like, until I walked in earlier back from my friends. I didn't even know he didn't have the car and he even came back. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. I'm the only one in this apartment right now, and that door over there just creaked, creaked open by itself. I'm, I'm really paranoid right now. I'm really, really paranoid right now. I'm just sitting here staring at this freaking door, and I'm really, really nervous. Uh, do you guys see that? Chris's door was closed. 100% closed and it just creeped open on its own. Um, here's the thing. When you're with other people, not nearly as scary when something like this actually happens. But when you're alone, you're fucking frightened. I feel like I'm in one of those movies right now where it's like, don't go near the fucking door and like open it. But the people do it anyway. Alright, that is creepy. That is really creepy. I'm keeping my camera on right now just in case anything happens. And um, if I die, it's documented. I'm like crapping myself right now. It's not even funny. Chris, Chris, please tell me you closed your door. Well, Did you close your door? Yeah, I always do. Okay, well, I always do. listen, your door opened by its fucking self, but not entirely. Like it creaked open and then I went and fully opened it. That's why it's fully opened right now. I ha like, I have video. I have video of it being creaked open. Theo just stuck his whole head inside of my shoe. <laughs> He's been trying to bite our shoes recently. I feel like I gotta move him. He's been biting all of Lizzie's shoes. Nick comes over and he just starts going in, bro. What are you, Aiden now? You just working out 24 seven? He just tried doing dips on this. I think the demon possessed Nick. <laughs> I'm okay, bro. I'm out here now. Bro. Your glasses were just falling off. <laughs> bro, it's good. I'm that dude Zozo you've been talking about, bro. What's good? Y'all been f***ing on my board way too many times. I don't like that. I'm Zozo, what's up? What's your name? Don't Zozer. joke about that, bro. <laughs> yeah. My name's Zozer. You're going to get really possessed now. <laughs> yeah. We're making some food right now. We got some burgers in the making. Mm. But I'm already possessed. You possessed my <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Moving on. Bro, he's doing dips. <laughs> what? Bro, I'm trying for the Olympics, bro. Check this out, ready? This is the most exercise I've ever seen Nick get. <laughs> now we're in the apartment. I don't know why he's doing all this. He's definitely possessed, guys. <laughs> possessed, like, bro. <laughs> what? 
But I'm training for the Olympics. This is the most entertaining footage I've gotten all day. Well, listen, man, I just haven't hit the gym in like a couple days, so I'm feeling really bad. <laughs> this is what Chris was doing to me earlier. <laughs> da, 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 da. Chris, you gotta dodge it like you were. Yeah, dodge it, bro. Like karate kid. Ready? All right, go, go. Yo. You gotta do straight on. Of town, partner. All right, bro. Yeah. What you live at, Jersey? Oh I'm yeah, you Jersey. are from Jersey. Jersey's a really nice city. It man. is a nice city. Really nice to meet nice. you. Want to fight? Yeah. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Roll your weapon. Jersey's a state. <laughs> <laughs> You're not blocking it like you were, Chris. You gotta go straight on. I don't know. Cause you were giving me some nice jabs. Yeah, Nick's looking the other way. Nick's trying to hit me in the nuts. <laughs> if I get hit, he just hit himself in the face. I did it. No, I was close. <laughs> I got close. If I hit myself in the face, I would have retracted, but it was like super close. Right to dodge that. Sh so we're doing this thing every single Friday on the 210 official account on Instagram called Fan Art Fridays. And this was what went up today. But Nick sent over a submission for Fan Art Fridays. I'm gonna show it to you right now. He tried to draw Lizzie on Snapchat. He said my Fan Art Friday submission. Think it's gonna make it? No, bro, not a chance. What the f bro? <laughs> I worked really hard on that. Yeah, probably like two minutes. Yeah, it no, it was like one minute, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, these burgers taste like McDonald's cheeseburgers, so I drew an M logo with the mustard. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are interested in any of our 210 merchandise, make sure to click the link down below at the very top description. Check it out over there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out yesterday's video as well.